Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my Slipperag Dhabulka. In this video, we will see helper attributes for test cases in TestNG framework. Here we have one example. Here we have two classes. One is program 1 and another is program 2. In program 1, we have two test cases. One is admission login and second is admission broken links. In program 2.java, we have four test cases. One is placement login, second is placement broken links. Then we have faculty login and faculty broken links. So likewise, there are four test cases in program 2.java and two test cases in program 1.java. And in testng.xml file, here we have mentioned these classes, right? Now see, when I run this program, so see, so when I am running this testng.xml file, so we will see what output we are getting. So see, here we got the output. Now see, here we got faculty login output first and after that we are getting this output right placement broken links and placement login suppose just for example suppose this faculty login is dependent on placement login means what we want this should get run first and after that only we should get our, this faculty login test case should run so this situation or this condition we can mention for in for this test case now see how to mention it see so what we want faculty login test case should run only after placement login test case is run okay so this uh, test case should run first and after that this test case should run okay that is our requirement now see how to do this so see what we want this faculty login te test case is dependent on this placement login test case placement login test case means this should run only after this test case is run so see that we can mention here so here in round bracket we have to mention one attribute depends on o capital methods so see here o capital and m capital is equal to in curly bracket in double quote we have to mention that method name so see I am mentioning placement login. Placement login. Keep in mind, this test case should present in this class only. That means, see, this test case is dependent on this test case, right? But this test case should be from this class only. It should not be from other class. So, see, class name is program 2, right? Class name is program 2. Class name is program 2. So, whatever the test case name that we are mentioning here, that should be from this class only. Here in our example from the program 2 only. Now see if you are mentioning or from the other class, so we will get error for that. Now see. So see in previous case, what output we got? We got faculty login output first, and after that we got placement login, right? Now see. Here I have mentioned depends on methods is equal to placement login. Now see, we will design our code. So see. So here you can see faculty login faculty login output from this test case right we got after placement login output right so whenever this test case is executed after that faculty login test case is executed right because why because we have mentioned that this faculty login test case is dependent on placement login test case so when it is getting executed only after that the test case will get run now see uh, so here we have mentioned only one test case uh, one test case right this faculty login is dependent on this one test case but uh, suppose there are multiple test cases right so that also we can mention for example see uh, i want to mention uh, suppose this faculty login is dependent on this only okay just for example i am taking see now see what i am mentioning here faculty login test case is dependent on placement login test case and placement broken links test case right so when the test cases are run, only after that this test case should run. This is my requirement. So see, I am running this code. Now see, so faculty login, this output we got, faculty login test case is run after placement login and placement broken link. So because see, this is dependent on this test cases, right? So this test cases will get run first and after that this case, test case will get run. Okay, so in this way we can use this attribute depends on methods. Now see, we will see other attributes. 
so see we will go to program 1 dot java now see suppose uh, we know that there is one bug in the test case okay now already we know that now see in that situation we don't want to run the test case so we can make that provision by using one attribute see i don't want to run this test case so i can mention this attribute so see here in round bracket i have to mention enable is equal to false now see when i'm mentioning like this so i will not get output from the test case now see here we are getting output from this right admission login this output from the test case right but whenever i am mentioning enable is equal to false so this test case output or this test case will not get run see we will check the output so see previously there were six test cases right now there are five because we have made admission login as false we have said enable is equal to false so see there is no admission login there is no output admission login right now see suppose next time uh, other some other time suppose we want to make it true we want output of the test case so if we make uh, enable is equal to true so we will get output so see again a total test cases are six and that output also we are getting right admission login right so in this way we can use this attribute right now see we will see one more attribute timeout is equal to some time so see time out is equal to time in milliseconds so for example something like this so here i am mentioning timeout is equal to 5 seconds or 5000 milliseconds now what is the meaning of this suppose some test case is taking so much time to run maybe because of uh, low internet connection okay because of any reason so if that any test case is taking more time to execute so instead of showing that error it will wait for this much time it is just similar to the implicit weight and explicit weight that we have seen in selling it. So it will act like that only. If any test case is taking so much time to run, so in that situation, instead of showing error, it will wait for this much time. So this is one more helper attribute. So in this example, in this video, we have seen depends on methods, then enable and timeout helper attribute. So friends, I hope you like this video. If it is, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So stay connected. Thank you.